Hey guys, so in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to upload an object from your machine locally into S3 using the Amazon CLI tools. Um, this works on both Windows and Mac. Um, I'm using Mac, but the commands are exactly the same while you're in terminal on Mac or command line on Windows. So it does depend on you having an S3 bucket set up. Um, there's a video on this channel on how to do that. And it also involves having the CLI tools installed for the appropriate operating system in which you're running. Again, there's two videos on the channel for that. So let's just get started. I'm operating out of my Johnny Chevers YouTube bucket. Um, there's currently nothing in that, as you can see. I have terminal open in here. If you're on Windows, open command line by typing CMD. And then this is the folder where I have a file I'm going to upload and a folder I'm going to download to. So the commands are very simple. It's quite simply AWS, so you're calling the AWS CLI. Again, same on Windows and Mac. S3. Then the CP, which is the copy command. So we're going to copy this file to S3. Copy command. Then you type in the local destin, the local source of that file. So the local source of my file is actually this location. So it's in Johnny, it's in users, Jonathan Chivers, S3 demo, upload, perfect. And then after that command, the next command that we type in is the URI of the S3 bucket. So what's the URI? That's the actual resource identifier of the S3 bucket. So in S3, it's S3 colon two forward slashes, your bucket name, which in my case is Johnny hyphen Chevers hyphen YouTube. So Johnny hyphen Chevers hyphen YouTube. And then it's the key of the object that you want to upload to or any name or think of it this way, it's the name of what you want to give the object you're uploading. So we'll keep it simple and we'll go forward slash and then we'll type in upload dot rich text format because that's why I'm uploaded. You type in the name of the file that you're uploading there um, and you hit enter. And that means it's successful. So if I refresh this page, you can see that it successfully went up. There you go. Now, the next thing you can do actually here is that it doesn't have to go to the root of the bucket. It can go to a folder um, on a lower <clears throat> in a lower directory of that bucket. So if I if you hit up, it brings up your most recent command in both command line or terminal. So just the up arrow um, brings this back up. And I'm just going to back into here and I'm going to type, for example, we have an upload folder. So let's go upload forward slash and I type enter again sent off the S3, but this time, as you see, an upload folder has appeared, and then we have our object that we've uploaded inside that folder. So that's great. So that's uploading. You can also rename the file on an upload if you want to get a bit more complex. So if I type the arrow button up twice, we're back to the first command. And instead of calling it upload, I'm just going to show you, and I'm going to call it example. So if I put in example this time, and I refresh, you can now see that the example has appeared. Now, to the same underlying file, I've just renamed on the way up. Okay, excellent, perfect. Download. So I'm just going to clear my screen. So make it easier to read. Clear. Download is actually the same command, except we're doing things slightly in reverse. So it's AWS, S3, CP, but this time we're copying from S3 down into our local directory. So instead of putting your local directory first, this time you put your S3 directory. So it's S3 colon forward forward slash bucket name, which is Johnny hyphen Chivers hyphen YouTube in my instance. Then I want to download the file that I called upload. So we'll go forward slash upload dot rich text format. In my case, put in your appropriate file extension there. And then we have to then download it. So this download location in terms of my laptop, and you need to specify your own, obviously, is here. And then I have to then put forward slash and give the file name. So I'll keep it simple and we'll just call it upload.rtf. And that is everything. If we hit enter, you see that it appears now down in my download file. And just for completeness, again, you can actually rename the file on the download. So we'll just call it download this time. And you can see download appears. That's everything. Perfect. So really simple lesson today, how to upload and download um, to S3 using the CI tools. 
again, principles are exactly the same for Windows, except you use CMD command line rather than terminal. There's plenty more videos on my website to get you started and on my YouTube channel, www.johnnychevers.co.uk. Thanks for watching. I look forward to next time. Thanks.